Hi, welcome to this year's International Boutique. I'm looking forward to introducing you to the beautiful things that we've brought from all the faraway places of the world. The Boutique is a fundraiser for Amritel, and we use all the proceeds to support projects for women and children here in Vermont, across the United States, and around the world. So let's begin the tour. On my right, we have things. These are things we've been able to get before. This is bamboo from Vietnam, and it's wonderful to have in your kitchen and your dining area. It holds up to hot and cold foods, and it's just beautiful. And we're excited to be able to have things this year from Turkey. One of the Amritel board members is Turkish, and she went to Turkey to shop for us. We have some beautiful ceramics. We have trivets, bowls, all, sites, all kinds of bowls. We have tiles that you can use them individually, or you can use them together to create a pattern. We have wonderful kilim bags and, bag and purses and pillows and rugs. And you can see some of the beautiful ceramics that we've got. And of course, as always, we have wonderful rugs from all over the world. The rug that's behind the Turkish items is from India, and it's a hand-knotted wool, very high-quality wool. And all of the rugs that we have are really, they're all hand-knotted and they're really lovely. We work hard to try to find a nice selection of different varieties so that everyone can have something. We have two by threes, and this year we even have 15 by 11s. So a great variety, and of course, all the prices at the boutique are well below retail, often below wholesale, because we buy directly from the people that make them or from people that are close by. And we try as often as possible to buy from fair trade situations. At the very far end of this table, we have some beautiful pottery and chopsticks that came from China and, and Japan, and they're just gorgeous. They're simple, they're not very expensive, and they're beautiful. So we're quite excited about the ceramics of this year. This year we have some beautiful alpaca goods that are from Peru. These are very soft hats. They're fleece-lined. And we also have from Peru, we have some beautiful hand warmers, wrist warmers, some gloves. We have socks made from alpaca wool. And we also have some nice fleece-lined wool from Nepal. And hats, gloves, wrist warmers, leg warmers. Pretty much we've got you covered. And in Peru, we have a wonderful project. We actually have a few projects. Amritel runs a project for the families that are living in the Pariso de Alto areas outside of Lima, which are very, very poor. The people there live in very difficult circumstances, very impoverished, limit, limited food, limited shelter, no electricity. So in that area, we have cooperatives where the women work and they create the finger puppets that everyone loves to come and get at the international boutique, they do knitting. They also, we have a project for the children, for the very poorest children, and they get a hot meal every day, which is often the only meal they're going to get that day. And we also have a Head Start type of program where they get enrichment so that when they finally get to go to school, they're not far behind and they have a chance to really change their circumstances by getting a good education. The rugs that you see behind the woolens this is a rug from Afghanistan. It's a beautiful, very much a very traditional tribal pattern. And we also have an extensive collection of runners this year. I think we have about 15 different kinds of runners and from, again, all parts of the world. We have runners, we have Tibetan runners and we have Afghani and we have Persian and we have from India, just beautiful runners. Uh, again, all hand knotted wool, very high quality wool. And we're quite excited that we can provide such an array of carpets for people. And people do come very early because there is a lot of one of a kind and the prices are so ridiculously inexpensive. And people come from, they might wait all year in order to buy a carpet to, from the International Boutique because they know not only are the prices great and the selection wonderful, but again all the profits go to support the projects that Amartel has here in Vermont and around the, the world for women and children in need. So some of the other things that we got from, from Peru this year that we're really excited about, we got some beautiful high-end sweaters. We got something that's called a ruana, which is a, 
it's like a shawl and this one for instance is reversible very soft alpaca wool and we don't have many of them because they were something that we don't we don't normally have things in that are this expensive but again we're we'll able to offer them wholesale so they should be available for people that just want to have something warm but lightweight and really beautiful and right here we have what we call elephant central we've got these wonderful wonderful cotton shirts long sleeve short sleeve uh, hoodies non hoodies and they all have this elephant motif and for some reason I kind of went a little wild um, I got people like what were you thinking we must have I don't know 200 of these or something but I fell in love with them so you have the full frontal elephant and you've got the side elephant and again so from all of the clothes that we're selling a lot of the profits will go back to India where these clothes were made and in India we have we're starting a model school in one of the poorest areas of rural West Bengal which is one of the poorest states in India and these are for children that for girls especially that finally have a chance to have a really good quality education and what we've learned at Amritel is that if we provide education for children they in turn will grow up and make a difference not just for themselves and their families but for their whole community and pretty much it's a it's a given now in the nonprofit world that if you educate children and you specifically educate girls and you provide opportunities for women like we do in Haiti we have a microcredit program or in in Kenya or in Ghana where we do self-help groups if those women and those children have an opportunity to make change in their personal lives then the whole community benefits so we're looking at not just taking care and helping people in the immediate time but really giving them skills and options so they can change their future and the future of their community and so when you come down and you buy some of these wonderful elephant shirts from Elephant Central you can feel good knowing that the money from your your purchase is going to help other people. We always try to have things for children that are in their price range so they can get something for their brothers or sisters, for themselves, or for their teachers. These little sand animals are ridiculously cute. I've, my grandson's been here playing with them every day. So we've got the gecko and we've got the, the really, really bright. I've never seen a rhino quite in these colors. We've got lots of things for kids this year and as always. And then this Persian rug, we got some beautiful, beautiful Persian rugs. And because we went ahead and purchased them before the embargo went into effect in August, we were able to get wonderful prices on them. Some of the nicest rugs I've ever seen, just the quality of the workmanship and the design. They're just, they, they make my heart sing when I see them. This year, as always, we have a spectacular selection of jewelry. We got some wonderful jewelry from um, this is from Kenya, and it's made by a company, the, the people there, the artisans, they have their own cooperative, so all of the profits then go back to the families. And we have jewelry from pretty much countries all around the world. We try to really focus on bringing as big a selection as we can. And behind the jewelry, again, you see one of the beautiful rugs that we have. This one, very different than what we usually have, and I, I really, the people that buy the rugs, we go out of our way to try to find as many different styles because we understand that different people like different different varieties so we try to make sure that that happens and then as you come down here you can see uh, for instance this is a chess set that's made from hand carved stone we get this from a very specific village in central Mexico and in Mexico we have uh, some wonderful projects we do programs with well we were there for the earthquake for sure and we also do projects with women and children in Mexico as we do in other countries and then up on the top here you can see these these are a new style of jewelry that we get from their fair trade and they come from South Africa and these are made by artisans there and again when we buy from these people we know that the money that they're earning is exactly what they worth what there is so they're not getting just a few cents and somebody else making a lot of money the artisans themselves are benefiting from the work that they're doing and that's very reflective of Amritel's mission where we try to empower people and we try to partner with them. So we don't go in and say, this is what you need. What we say is, what would you like? What do you see as important to succeed in your personal life and the life of your family and community? And how can we help you get there? So this is the, the approach that Amritel has when we work with women and children. And when we're working in disaster relief, which unfortunately we've done a lot this year, we work with the whole community whether it's providing food and water and shelter or as in Puerto Rico we're providing solar 
array so that they can recharge their phones and their laptops. We work with whatever is needed in the community. This year, one of our uh, Amartel team members went to Bali to shop for us, and she beautiful musical instruments for kids and for not kids, and also some really just some fun things. We have a, a bank that we've been having a discussion. Is this an owl or is this a Ganesh? What kind of bird, a Garuda? What kind of bird is that? We're not sure, but it's fun. And interestingly, while she was in Bali, there was the earthquake. So the first thing she did is she just stopped shopping and she went right into Amartel mode and began organizing people that are down there that we know in the community into teams to go in and try to provide relief for some of the people most affected by the earthquake. So this is how we, we function. We try to do what we can at the time. We also try to plan ahead for creating sustainability in communities. And then the International Boutique is a way to fund all of those projects. So again, this is a fundraiser. And when you come and you shop here, all of your the shopping will go to support projects for women and children in Vermont and around the world. So this is, I just, I love the things from Bali. They're colorful, they're inge in ingenious people. The thing that always amazes me is no matter where people are in the world, they find a way to make art, to make beauty out of whatever they have. And I think we see that in so many of the countries that we visit and work in. And then there's also a beautiful carpet behind the things from Bali. And this is called a, a heritage serapi, or serapi heritage. And this is a very thick piled wool rug, hand knotted. And it's one of my favorite styles for Vermont because when we have our long winters, it's just nice to have a really cozy carpet to curl up on or just to give you a feeling of warmth when the house may not be quite as warm as you would wish. One of the things that we got in Turkey this year are killam pillows killam rugs, besides the killam bags. And one of the things we always try to do is to bring in new things every year so people don't think, oh, it's the same old, same old. This year, I think perhaps more than usual, we have a lot of new things from new countries as well. And I want to encourage all of you to come. The International Boutique starts this Saturday, December 1st, beginning at 10 o'clock in the morning, and it runs until 8 o'clock Saturday night. And then it runs from Sunday, from Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, all the way to the following Sunday, December 8th. And the hours will be 10 to 6, except on the last day, December 8th. Then we close at 4.30, because then we have to take everything down. And I want to give a special thanks to the Masons for letting us use their wonderful lodge. It's our home now, and we feel so welcomed and so supported. And it's, again, one community group supporting another community group, which is what makes our, our special community so wonderful because we all really help each other. So thank you all. I hope you enjoyed the tour. And again, I would like to invite you all to this year's International Boutique, benefiting the projects for women and children that Amartel runs here in Vermont and around the world. Have a wonderful holiday.